Hey, Editing Laura here. This was filmed at the start of lockdown, literal months ago. I just found this footage on my memory card, realized I have a full review and I said, feck it, I'll edit it together. So some of the information in this is kind of old, relating to lockdown and the fact that I was drinking a lot of coffee and tea. Just for your information. Back to the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is keeping safe, well, healthy, and most importantly, inside when at all possible. Today I'm coming at you with a different kind of video. So there's this meme going around insinuating that lots of us are gonna come out of quarantine looking like absolute wretched animals. I beg to differ, my feet have never looked prettier and I'm about to try out a teeth whitening kit because while I'm not a big red wine drinker, I am partial to the occasional coffee and I do drink quite a lot of tea. I'm Irish, sue me. I tried the Beverly Hills Formula Teeth Whitening Strips before, but a different version. These are the charcoal ones, and I'm gonna put them to the test today. Shout out to my gorgeous friend, Dervla. She works in a dental surgery, and she actually gave me a little tooth comparison thingy where you can take note of what your teeth were before, are after, and you will know there's been no funny business, cause we all know, maybe we don't all know, I am really skeptical when it comes to before and afters of teeth whitening stuff, especially because it's being pushed so heavily on social media in recent years. Some tactics used might be using a darker foundation. Obviously, naturally enough, when it's juxtaposed with teeth, it's gonna make them look a bit whiter, darker lipstick. Trust me, there is going to be no foul play in this. You're not going to be able to cheat this. No, I mean, but even at that, I'm not wearing any lip product and I'm wearing like my pale foundation, so there won't be any trickery. So let's see what shade I am now before this all kicks off. I'm like happy enough with my teeth, but they're definitely getting a little bit duller and less white as I drink more and more tea. Possibly not helped by this lockdown. I'm drinking a lot more tea than usual. Is anyone else that way? So let's see. I feel like I'm kind of all the colors. Yeah, I reckon I'm A3. It's the guy directly above my finger there. I'd say that's a fairly decent representation of what shade my teeth are at the moment. This box, I haven't even opened it yet. I don't even know what the instructions are. This is what the box looks like. I think the RRP is $19.99. And in it you get little individual sachets with the strips for top and bottom, as well as a clicky clicky whitening pen. 28 strips, 14 upper, 14 lower, and a whitening pen. Two strips per pouch. Use once daily for 14 consecutive days. Ensure teeth are dry before using the strips. Tear open the foil. Place the strips on the lower teeth first, then onto the top teeth. Leave for 30 minutes, and after 30 minutes, remove both strips and rinse away residual residual gel from teeth. And these are actually made in Dublin. Cool. It goes without saying, this brand is cruelty-free and vegan friendly. black. I don't know why I'm so shocked at that. Really cute. <laughs> it's now half ten on the button. My speech is definitely affected, um, but I mean you'd barely notice them. Okay, it's been half an hour. I FaceTimed Mammy to show her how gorgeous I was and her reaction was put that on a date in sight. I seem to have gotten like charcoal ring on my lips which is not the cutest um to be honest i'm delighted i did this during lockdown because i mean who's gonna be looking at me so i can only imagine what this is gonna be like now when i take these off yeah yeah okay i'm back this is going to be a pain in the arse, but sure, fuck it, I'm at nothing else anyway. You can definitely still see, I brushed my teeth with the Beverly Hills charcoal toothpaste, which I actually really like. I've been using that for a couple of years now. Brushing with toothbrush alone did not take the black residue from between my teeth or behind my teeth, so I had to use the toothpaste. And even at that, you can still see there's a residue between my bottom teeth a little bit between my top. This is day one. I obviously don't see any major differences as of yet, but I'll be back to report to you how I get on after day 14, and we'll see if I've moved from the A3 shade on this, hopefully in this direction. See you in a couple of weeks. Last one, 14 days of this mess. I have not checked the shade chart, so it's gonna be just a surprise for me as it is for you. I will say I don't see any difference in my teeth. I don't have the necessary vocabulary in my brain to explain to you just how difficult it is to get this carbon shit 
out from between your teeth. It takes about two to three minutes solid of brushing and even at that you will stop, rinse out your mouth, look and still see. Actually, I think I still see a little black right there. So annoying. But anyway, we got through it. I did the 14 days. I used them every single day for 30 minutes. Sometimes I left them on for an extra five minutes, but that's kind of negligible. I experienced no sensitivity. Now, usually my gums will freak the fuck out when it comes to teeth whitening products, but I experienced zero sensitivity with this. However, looking at my teeth, I'm not really sure I got results either. But let's see, I have not checked. When we started, I was an A3. Okay, I definitely feel like there has been a little bit of an improvement. I would say I'm about an A2 now. What do you reckon? A2 is this one here. What do you think? For the time, hassle, effort and cost involved, I feel like the difference in the shade of my teeth is quite negligible and I don't necessarily think it's worth it. But look, it was fun to do and at least I can save you some money, time and effort in that regard. Not sure what's going on, my memory card keeps having a bitch fit so I'm going to have to cut this off here. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to see more like it. If you've any video requests, definitely leave them, definitely leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.